Right, okay, uh, let me just see if my mic is on, uh, first of all. Right, yep, my mic is on. Right, okay, hello everyone, uh, I'm really sorry about the, um, about the, what was going on just now. Uh, basically, we had a problem, uh, with, um, with what you see here right now, so I'm going to leave that. Um, what I've, what I've been trying to do is, let me just move my screen a little bit more and get rid of that a second, because that just looks ugly. Right, so, what I've been trying to do is, um... So, right, there's the web <laughs> right, okay. Uh, so, Jai, who is from Australia, uh, we were trying to uh, sort out the network on my laptop just recently, and we've managed to finally sort it, and it wasn't actually allowing me to connect to the stream, if you know what I mean. And also, to answer everyone's questions, also, hello, Jai, hello, Fraser, hello, uh, DJ Renz, hello, Harry, uh... Basically, I had a warning that there will probably be, be uh, there will be spammers on this stream, so that is why it's been set to 30 seconds. I can change it to 15 if that's going to be easier, but I really, really don't want spammers on the stream. Also, hello, man, uh, Manpreet. I think I'm saying that might be yeah, Manpreet. Um, but yeah, so today we are going to be programming. Ne well, not necessarily. Well, yeah, kind of programming. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating the show file for the stream uh, rig and the tutorial rig. So, as you may remember, uh, in the other stream, I actually built the capture rig. Uh, so, before we kind of start changing everything about, what I will do is show you the capture rig just now if everything is correct. Uh, um one second don't you just love the internet it's honestly amazing isn't it right okay there we go i think right hang on a sec everyone so yeah basically we've got quite a few fixtures as you may know in the other rig uh hello um uh, badru lighting designer so let me just open it back up i hope my stream's still going Right, okay, lovely, lovely. Everything is in order. Yeah, everything is on order, right. Okay, cool. So, uh, just started capture yesterday. Where is Cedric? I'm not too sure where Cedric is. Um, also, I'm going to make real quick. Uh, Harry, you are now a moderator. Oh, wait, no, I just made... Uh, oh, oops. Um, one second. I am being totally stupid right now. Right, okay. So, we've got uh, Harry as a moderator now. Thank you, Harry. Uh, if you wanted to do that, I'm, so, I'm sorry, but uh, I just kind of threw it on you. Uh, anyways, uh, you don't have to stay as well. If you need to go, that's fine. Anyway, right. So, as you remember, we've got the curved screen. I've finally sorted that out now. Uh, so, what I will do is go into live view real quick. Going to... There we go. So, you can see it's actually looking nice there. Uh, we've also got some line array speakers. Uh, and also, on the front, I've actually changed it a little bit. Um... So the front spots are actually now MK3 profiles because of the zoom. And I've also kind of made the stage a little bit more smaller. Um, just because it just kind of... Um, well, it, obviously it's going to be a stream rig. And you don't want a massive rig in, when, when you're doing like tutorials and everything. Uh, so in the rig we have got... Uh, we can actually check on the... Um, spread not spreadsheet the patch sheet i made so we've got some um bi uh k20s from clay Packy. uh we've got some mega pointies instead of esprits now uh we've also got 100 uh, we've got some led beams um which are which were elation um elation oh, i can't remember the name of it uh but anyways uh yeah uh, elation dart 360s that's what uh, and there we go and then we got stormy cc's uh as well oops go away so yeah this is kind of our patch sheet which we're going to be patching from today also if you have any questions whatsoever during this stream you are more than welcome to answer uh as well and i'm really glad dj Renz just spot the light in the back Anyway, this, yeah, that is an Intimidate Spot LED 350. I thought I'd just add it to the stream so it looks nicer. 
Uh, right, anyway, so, yeah, that is the capture rig. So, what I'm going to do quickly is just go back to... I'm going to put it over here, just so you can see it in the stream uh, uh, again. Just remove that from there. There we are. I'm going to just shorten that down. Shorten this down so I can see how many people are viewing. Uh, go back to... OBS and change the window capture to bear view. Oh, hang on a sec. Don't know what's going on there. I wasn't really prepared. I don't look re much prepared to be fair. Hang on a sec. Oh, that's a nine. Right, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Right. There we are. Uh, just shift that a little bit. Properties. Just restart that a sec. What on earth is going on? I'm just going to get rid of that for now. Uh, right. Okay. 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 Uh, I'm just going to put the capture view on real quick just so you guys can see what's going on on capture. Uh, what version am I on? I'm on version 11.4 at the moment. Okay. That's really weird. Sorry. Uh, right. There we are. Okay, if you want that making bigger, just let me know. Right, okay. So, yeah, that's what we've got on here. Again, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'm sorry about the live ch uh, live chat limit. I just cannot. I can't really risk it. And also, my console, my Quartz is actually on version 13. Uh, but my Titan Simulator is on 11.4. Anyway, let's get patching the fixtures. So, what we're going to start off with is we have the... Clay packet BIs. So let's just patch them in. So patch uh, fixtures. Uh, what are they called? Yeah, clay clay packet K twenties K twenty, and then they're on standard mode. Uh, user number. Don't know why that's done that. Oh well, doesn't matter. Uh, okay. So how many have we got? We have got. 10 washers. So one thing I really do like about um, Everlights is it's got an automatic find fixture feature uh, as you just saw there. Uh, so if I just go into capture main view a second and actually fix, not fix it, so you can see it much better. There we go. So I, I don't know if you can see that but like on the rig you can see there's like a fixture on at the moment. Um, which is basically the uh, one of the washers that have been found by the software. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, uh, enable preset palettes. So that's basically uh, with colors on workspaces automatically. And then we're just going to patch in 10 of the washers. There we are. It's just patch in. There we go. Right, okay. One thing as well you may have noticed is that I completely forgot to... Sorry, uh, it's actually done the position. What on earth? Right, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what is this? I'm just gonna add in that anyway. Whilst we're here, there we go. Boom. Right. Okay. So yeah, we have got automatic positions. To be fair, I never use the automatic positions, so I just get rid of them anyways. Bye bye. Uh, I'm probably gonna keep the zoom. I also don't really have the strobe on here I usually put the strobe on playbacks uh, so if we just locate the BIs now uh, as you can see they are located uh, they've also automatically done the colors in the workspace and that is kind of one thing no one remember well, people remember obviously but people forget uh, that you can actually do an automatic feature where um, you can you know automatically create the colors uh, in the software so it's not you know you're not messing about adding it in anyways uh, then we are going to patch in the mega point is so let's go check the work the patch sheet uh, so we've got mega point is how many have we got we've got one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve point is um right let's patch in the 12 point is ruby lighting if you haven't yet make sure to like and subscribe uh, i never use the positions uh i never use the inbuilt positions but i uh, i i always make position tabs anyway 
Uh, Robin Mega Point here. Uh, what mod are they on? Oh, they're on mod two. Right. Okay. Mod two. As you can see again, the software has found one of the fixtures again. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Didn't mean to click that. I'm sorry if I scared you. Right. Okay. Um. Okay. Again, patch sheet. We start from two one one. Two one one. Uh. Let's see. Twelve. Patch them all in. Once again, and yeah, sorry. There, there we go. Twelve point is getting patched in. Lovely. So let's just check them all now as well. So we'll just locate them all. They seem to be working fine. Same with the colours as well. So we'll just locate that back. There we go. Right. So now. We're going to patch in the LED beam 100s, which are here. And it looks like we have got 12 of these as well, but I'm just going to double check. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Awesome, right, okay, so we're going to patch in 12 of them beams as well. And I'm also going to get rid of those gobos in a second. I will tell you why. So, we're going to type in Roby, um 100 LED Oh, LED beam. They're on. What mod are they on? Mod 6. Mod 6. 12. And we are starting from 213, which is correct. Patch them all in. Great. Okay, so that's all my fixtures. No, it's not actually. We've got a few more. I think we've just got generics and some strobes. But as you can see, we have got all the moving lights now. Which is what we want. Hang on a sec. Sorry, is my there we go. That's better. Right. Go back. Okay, so um let me know as well if the live chat delay is okay. If you want it extending and uh, not extending, if you want it shortening, let me know. Just because like I said before about spammers, just in case. Anyways. Um and the Mavericks, yeah, thank you for reminding me, Fraser. I forgot about that. Right, let's patch in what what is next anyway? Yeah, we've got the Maverick MK threes. We've got four of them. Three seventy five. Right. Patch them in. Oops. Hang on a sec. There we go. Right. Okay, patch the shove it. I'm gonna unplug my charger just in case my laptop blows up again. Uh shove it MK three profile boom. Um, 54 DMX, we're going to type in 54, not type in 54, uh, 54, and we've also got four of the profiles. The reason why I've also put profiles as well on the front, we have got source files, but the reason why I've put uh, profiles on the front is because uh, there is a, a patch, uh, a, sorry, a plot view in the uh, in the software, which sometimes I would be uh, showing off. So if I just locate the MK3s now, you can see the colours are working on them as well. Uh, necessarily I won't be using gobos with them much and probably just a few positions, you know, like on the singers, uh, maybe covering the whole stage as well. Um, so yeah, so we've got the Mavericks patched in right now. Uh, what else have we got? Camera lags with audio. Is my is my voice okay? Is it working? It, look, it seems fine. It's saying it's green. It's, it looks fine on my end. Just let me know if it's not. Anyway, right, okay. Dimmers. Right, we've got three dimmers, uh, which are the source fours. Patch, dimmer, um, call them source four. They are starting from universe. Oh, I just opened up my bloody... Oh, you donkey. You are such a donkey. Sorry. I just opened up Vegas accidentally. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot. Right. Go away, Vegas. No one cares. Please leave. Oh, God damn it. Anyway, right. So, we are on... Okay, Universe 4. Universe 4, and we've got three Source 4s. Yeah, I think the reason why it's kind of slowing down is because of Vegas. I accidentally opened it up. I'm going to get rid of that. <laughs> Wait, crashed.
<laughs> okay. Uh, okay, lovely. That can go as well. Uh, great. Okay, so we've got the source force patched in. Uh, now we are going to patch in the stormy CCs, which are on standard mode, which are on 329. Okay, so Titan Simulator, patch, fixtures. They are clear packet. Yeah. Um, clear packet. Sweet Stormy CCs standard three two nine one I believe is that correct? Yep. Okay. Three two nine one and we have got one two three four five five. Lovely. So we'll patch in them now. Five. Take your time. There we go. Now we have five stormies. So what I'm going to do is, I'll explain in a sec. There we go. Right. So if I click delete, I'm going to delete all of these go balls because it's a mess. Uh, I'm also going to delete the positions and do my own because these, you know, on every console, it gives you a static position anywhere to use. And what I am going to do, actually, that is a good idea, is I am going to. Stop this video a sec if it's not stop the video. I mean, okay. One song is on Avo. Is that like a fixture or something? Right, okay. So, what I'm gonna do now as well is usually you can see how it says five star miss. I usually get rid of these as well um, and just have the normal. Mr. O, do not worry about that. That has been done beforehand. <laughs> right. Okay, so we're just going to delete the these now. And also, Mr. O, I'm wearing your t-shirt, so... Give me respect. <laughs> I'm joking. You don't... I'm joking. No. Anyway, right. So... <laughs> right, so I'm going to put these into uh, correct kind of... Layouts now, um, so you've got clay packet, uh, so we've got washers, go away, spots, so these are our movers, so what I might do is I'm going to select it in movers, yeah, so I'm going to have the mega pointies there, I'm going to have the LED beams there, and I'm going to have the dimmers there, and strobes there. I'm probably going to put the MK3 profiles here as well. So now I'm going to just simply change the halo of them. So probably set that to red. Set that to green. Set that to blue. Just because it's easy to see. You know, I can select my movers from here. And what I might do as well, that's just giving me an idea, is if I just clear that out, is I'm going to move this down one and I'm gonna make a group for all of the movers that that doesn't include the mk3 profiles as well so I'm just gonna call that all movers there we go so when I select that it just selects all the movers right okay so next what I usually do is I there's should be a light called hi will um right okay and ollie you're gonna be um hang on a sec right okay so yeah uh what was it called was one song i'll check that for you real quick so yeah one song and it, uh there's an led 80 watt spot if that's what you're looking for right anyways what i do at this point is i try to edit my group layouts so is it up? yeah edit the group layout so this is good for well it just makes programming much faster so basically it's you know it includes the pixel mapping effects you do it includes the shape generators movements includes everything so if i just click shapes and effects pixel mapper edit group layout and we'll start with the washers first so you can see this is like our stage this is a plot view of our stage so if we select all the washers now we locate all the washers and we highlight them so I'm just gonna go through them. Uh, as you can see it goes a little bit random uh, when I go through that's because it, you know this group layout isn't sorted correctly so we'll start with the first one which is this one so we need that there 
the second one is up there, which is a bit weird because it's actually patching quite weirdly, but oh well. Uh, so as you can see, I am currently editing the group layout of them now. And like I said, I recommend doing this either way. It just makes life so much easier. Please ignore that flashy thing. Uh, by the way, that's because this is Titan Simulator. I'm not too sure fully why it does that though, to be honest. So yeah, so we've got that there. Right, okay. So that is here. Put that there. These are the back washers. So now we'll just extend these in a little bit. There we go. Oh. There we go. And that's our washers layout done. So we'll just put that there. Minimize the view. Probably move, move these in a little bit more as well. Honestly. Please ignore the flash. That's kind of like when you're playing with FL Studio. No, it's like kind of like when you're playing with Resolume. But Titan doesn't shout Titan in your face when Resolume does. So, right. Okay. I'll show you an example now. So, as you can see, if I locate them, highlight... When I go through now, uh, which one's the thing, right, okay, so when I go through now, as you can see, it's actually, you know, in order, it's not going randomly, so if I go back into main, the simulator output is spoiled, yeah, yeah, basically that, that that's what it is, but it's, yeah, right, okay, uh, clear packy bi, okay, I just selected one accidentally, clear, exit, Locate them. So basically, if I show you now, if I just create a random dimming effect, so shapes and effects, shape generator, create dimmer, dimmer spread. So as you can see, if I just make it go like that, speed that up a little bit, uh, and go on direction. So as you can see on the direction, it's going to the right. As you can see in capture, it's going to the right. So if I make it go from the back, change the spread of that so it looks a bit better as you can see it's going from the back pretty simple and I didn't mean to do that I keep I'm sorry I keep clicking the wrong buttons I'm really sorry <laughs> right okay uh, lovely <laughs> right so let's get back to business if we can load that up, lovely, right? Let's get back to business. Okay, so <laughs> I'm sorry with like the the, the random uh, buttons. I've got a stream deck and I keep clicking the wrong buttons. Some sausage fingers, unfortunately. Right, next we do the mega pointy. So pick some upper, edit group layout, mega pointy, and then we locate them. Put them over. Oh, put them over here in the corner. So again, as you can see, if I highlight them all now and just go through them, as you can see, it's doing it a bit randomly. It's not doing it too randomly, but it is doing a bit a bit random, which is not what we want. So if we just start from this, um. Okay, what kind of things do you have on Tor Stream Deck? I never bring my Stream Deck on Tor. Uh, I choose it for like videos like this. Um, although I would like to do that in the future. But I was going... As you remember, I don't know if you remember uh, when I was at Plaza. If you've any, uh, any of you... I can't even talk. If any of you have seen the Plaza vlog, I mentioned that I wanted to get a T2. But my laptop blew up literally. Uh, which wasn't fun, um, but yeah, in that video, I was just basically stalking Sam Parry behind him. I didn't even, <laughs> didn't even know if uh, he knew I was recording him, but that's okay. I'm sure Sam would forgive me. <laughs> uh, but anyway, right, okay, let's just make this more tidier. But yeah, I was mentioning that I wanted to get a T2, I was saving up, and then my laptop just blew up while I was at uh, Steve Warren's house. Hi, Steve Watts. Um, right, okay, so we put that there, put that there, put that there, put that there. Okay, so go like that. And then we've got two more, which is just... Wait, hang on a sec. Right, I did that wrong, yeah. So that goes over here. 
it's a prevention because uh, if you open Titan Sim, then after a lot of people do one. Uh, is anyone else uh, fascinated about the light in the background? I'm really glad that you're finding the light interesting. To be fair, like, I'm really, I'm really glad. Uh, I just kind of got that from under my stairs and decided to use it because it was dusty. And also, I thought it'd make it look nice. Right, okay, so as you can see now, the uh, the layout is done. So if I, like, select half of the rig, for an example, like, over here, as you can see, half the rig is selected. Uh, and if I select the other half, as you can see, the other half is selected. So that's done for the mega point is now. Just clear that out. Right, okay, so then we've got the LED beam 100. Uh, so what we'll do is pixel map, edit group, playout of the LED beams. Let's just widen that out a little bit more as well. It needs clean. Yeah, I, I was, uh, I am going to dust it up after. Dust it up. I am going <laughs> to, I am going to uh, clean it a little bit after. Uh, it's one of my, uh, I've got two LEDs, LED I really can't talk today. I'm not really sure why. Uh, I've got two intermediates by LED 350s. Uh, it's a lovely little fixture. Right, okay. So we've got that. Then we've got these sides as well. There we go. Three over here. One, two, three. Oh, three, that's correct. We've also got three over here here which is also correct cool so what we'll do is just put that in the middle a little bit put that there and there we go that's our intermediate spot led beam 100 done so what i'll do is i'll save this real quick because you know i thought you weren't a rental company no i'm not i just have my own fixtures anyway i just don't know why it's just like in the past missing the chicken wrap you know what you are getting the hungry now man three I'm getting quite hungry. Might go make myself chicken wrap, but not right now. Don't worry. Um, what was I gonna do? Yes, yeah, so I was gonna say the show uh, tutorial rig. There we go. Tutorial. No, I should have called it tutorial. I don't mind. Right. Where did you buy your quartz from? Was it Evo or from a different seller? It's direct. The console uh, is f directly from Evo. Right, okay, so MK3s, do we necessarily need to do these? Ugh. I mean, kind of, let me have a look. So, we've got... Okay, once I think these just need switching around. That needs to go here. Just getting this part sorted as well, because even though we've got four lights, it doesn't necessarily matter. Right, there we go. Okay, cool. Lovely, so that's... Yep, done. Right, MK3 is done. Don't really need to do the source files. Not important. I sound. I'm really sorry, ETC, for saying that. They are important. Uh, right. Okay. So look at the storm is. As you can see, um, we're just gonna locate them now. Uh, we're gonna sort these out. So edit group layout. So that one needs to go here. That one needs to go down here somewhere. There. There. And here, wait, what? We've only got. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot to add another Stormy in. That's probably why I was thinking to myself, five sounds a bit odd. But as you can see, like on the actual plot view, there should be one in the corner as well. But there isn't, so I completely forgot about that. I am sorry, I apologise. Uh, I'll probably add one in later. But we don't really need to add one in right now. Right. Okay, so what? So let's just check all the colors again. So we've got red, orange, yellow, green, more greens and blue and magenta and all that fancy stuff. So that's all working fine. Uh, so now um, I won't go into positions yet. I will go into gobos. I'll explain as well why I deleted the gobos. So right, as you as you can see. Jesus, right, okay. As you can see, when I locate this, uh, the mega point is, and I go into Gobo, which you can't actually see because of my webcam. I'm going to turn off my webcam real quick. Uh, so basically, um, when I go select them through, as you can see in capture, well, because I've just 
removed it halfway off the screen. <laughs> uh, so it's going through garbos as you can see. Sometimes well, I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can do it with this version, but we'll have a look anyway. So if we select just a, a random palette. Ah, right, yes. Yeah, so it's not that new now, but I still love it. So it's a it's where you can actually have like gobo icons uh, instead of actually draw uh, draw drawing drawing it in. Honestly, I apologise for my lack of English. So basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start adding the gobos in. So gobo one, this is going to be the first uh, gobo wheel. So we've got that one. This one. There we go. Just putting in putting in all the gobos in, and as you can see, it's a really good feature. I'm sure most consoles have it by now, uh, but I just love the feature. It just makes life much easier. But one thing as well that I really, I mean, if any Evo guys are watching, I'm not too sure if it has happened right now. But um, we were using, and it wasn't my decision, uh, but basically uh, I was working at a festival called Bid Theory. Uh, and I was actually doing lights and video at the same time. Uh, it was a busking show. There was another LD as well who was on an MQ500. Uh, and basically... Uh, you can actually get, I don't know if it's possible with Ava, I don't know if I did it correctly anyways, but apparently you can get thumbnails of the, like, clips, uh, of visuals, so you don't actually have to, you know, so I patched in the Green Hippo media server, um, but I couldn't find any thumbnails, um, I don't know what I did wrong, but I did, I did, I definitely did something wrong, so we've got that one, I don't know what the whole thing is, that doesn't seem to be a go bar, but we'll just skip that. Can you control the light in the back? Uh, you know what, I can't actually, it's uh, connected to my quartz right now, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, it's connected to my quartz. Um, not on Titan Simulator though. Go like that, there we go. Carry on with the gobos. Lovely. Yeah, you can get them with... CITP. Yeah, I was thinking that. You see, that's what I was doing, but it, it, CITP, but it wasn't actually working. I mean, it was working, but it wasn't showing any of the thumbnails. It was just saying, like, clip one, clip two, or something. But, like, with the MQ500, the geezer who were on that, Matt, he's a really nice guy. Um, he actually managed to do it. Sorry, by the way, what I'm doing now is actually changing the uh, halo of the gobos, just so I know that this is gobo wheel 1, this is gobo wheel 2. You need to use CRTV to get thumbnails on Eva and the other controls. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that, and I think I did, I can't remember necessarily, I think I did try that. But yeah. Okay, right, okay, so what we'll do now is do the zooms. So we'll do the washers and the spots here because obviously they have zooms and also with the mk3s so we'll just select them select all the movers in a way so we've got that zoom one zoom 50 and zoom 100 okay cool we'll just set legend that as blue By the way, the reason why I'm doing it in like this kind of colorway is because it just, it, like I said, it organizes it and I'm also kind of trying to uh, agitate Sam because when I went on the training thing, he was saying how he hates how LDs do like rainbow halos. <laughs> but yeah, right. Okay, so that's colors and gobos done. Uh, actually, we do need to do the, should we do the gobos on the MK3s? Yeah, why not? Why not? So let's just do it real quick. Um, go back into there. Ah, oh, right. You see there, uh, it doesn't actually have like a thumbnail, not a thumbnail, an icon or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm not sure if actually it's because it's Titan Simulator because it was doing it on the Quartz, uh, but not on here. And I think this is because uh, this is version 11.4. I will put them in anyway. So go ball. And don't worry, I am not going to draw them in. I'm not going to do that because that'll take for ages. Although I would like to do that, but I'm probably not going to do that. Ah, right. Yeah, actually, you probably, yeah, because, um, yeah, because it was last year, but I think I actually patched it in. I don't think, I don't know by active fixtures, though. I think it was by, um, 
just normal patching. So that's probably why then. There we go. All gobos done. Right. Cool. So let's just change the colour of them. What I am going to do actually is change them to blue. Change the zooms to magenta. Uh, I'm going to move that down to here. But yeah, colour coding like this really helps. It's just like when busking. I jump about during busking. And it's like when you're jumping about you can't really see much. But like when you colour code it. When you've got the icons and everything like that. It makes life so much easier. How do you uninstall version 13? I don't know why you would want to uninstall it. But I'm not fully sure. I think it's, I think it's just as you do it with other software. But I don't know why you would want to uninstall version 13. Um... But yeah, right, okay, so yeah, gobos, zooms, done. I'm debating whether to do the sp uh, the gobo wheel, the, the gobo spins, I'm probably going to do it. Yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> right, okay, so let's just put that as no spin. No spin. So I'll just type it in real quick, so uh, we want... 10 speed now i do it differently now people do uh no speed slow speed medium speed that's kind of what i do as well to be fair I, I make it a little bit more specific um as people just type in zero speed 50 speed and 100 speed when i usually go for 10 or 15 speed then i usually go for about 25 25 50, 75, and then 100. It really, like, I personally think it really makes a difference. Um, obviously it does. So we'll change that as well to white. Uh, what a great pastime. After this lockdown, I'm planning on throwing a party. Would you recommend I use a quartz to control my LED strip? Uh, I mean, just for, I mean, if you have a quartz, then, you know, do it, but, like, Titan 1's pretty good, um, as well, if you just want to control an LED strip, but, yeah, right, okay, so, next, uh, is positions, sorry, so I'm just going to do a little bit of a stretch. Uh, yeah, next is positions. So, um, I, what should I do next? Because I was thinking I'm doing positions, or should I do the workspaces? I might do the positions, just get it over with. I'm only, I'm not going to do, oh, shut up. Yeah, you know what, right, yeah. We'll do the positions first. Wow, sorry, my hearing just went weird, right. So, we want focus on the mk3 profiles just now but we will focus on the main movers we have got in the rig so what i'm going to do is widen this up so i can see it a little bit better as well on my screen and also move it in more there we go right okay so right let's have a look then at this so usually at first off i just do it i'm gonna say let's just pan that in to the left ma <laughs> thank you sherlock <laughs> uh but like uh yeah i think um yeah I mean, if you're just going to do LED strips, maybe use something that you've got. Uh, I mean, if you've got quartz, 100% do it. If you've got Titan 1, do it. I have a problem where when I make a position, it doesn't start the day as I gave the preset. Any idea about that? What mode are you... Re hang on. That's weird. Uh, does When you do the uh, positions, does it light up blue down here? So, down here, does it light up blue? Because if it doesn't, that means it's not in the programmer. But you, you've got to make sure it's in the programmer. Otherwise, it won't work. Right, then we've got the mega pointies. There we go, which are very bright. LED beam 150s as well. 
Which ah, uh, where are they? They're not that bright, are they? Right, okay, here we go. I selected them because they were really fast. That's why they're in the rig. So I'll select all the movers here, and then I'll select the position. Uh, right, okay. Um, I okay. Can you call me on Insta so I can explain why I need to get uh rid of version thirteen? I can't call right now. Um, but if you send an email to Everlights, I'm sure they can help. Um. Make sure it's not, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, make sure it's not in Star Mask, uh, what is your opinion about Camasys? Not too bad, I've used it, uh, and I wouldn't, I mean, I, it's not my favourite console, but, uh, it's probably because I've had some bad experiences with the old version in a venue, but, uh, it's, it's a decent console, it's alright, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, I won't turn it down, it's alright, um. It's an alright console. If I don't have an Evo at hand, uh, then Shard is a Camasys. But the one thing I don't like about Camasys is the effects generator. So yeah, you can see here now I'm actually drawing the positions in. I just, I just much prefer drawing them in instead of just, you know, putting them on there because, um, well, just because it, you can't really see the positions. So I'm gonna just. Uh, double click disc which means it's just gonna automatically save cool right okay so from my uh, right okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the forward position so which is just are they all on the same tilt no they're not uh, okay so just do a nice position all going forward we'll do it with the LED beams as well lovely and then the mega point is hello Cedric right so it would be hang on a sec are there are they on the same yeah I'd say so so I'd say about 7856 so Seventy-eight fifty-six. So I can't really see because you know I'm getting blinded. <laughs> so yeah, right. Okay, so I'm gonna call that forward. There we go. And then I'm just gonna select them all down again, just so I can see what's going on. Uh, then I'm gonna point them all up. There we go. No, I agree. The effect generator is terrible. What about MA? Again, it's alright, it's okay. But I think that what really separates Camasys, Evo and MA is that Evo's got a, a sexy pixel mapper. It's got an amazing shape generator and I'm sorry it's doing that. Again, sorry about that. Like I said, it's got an amazing shape generator. It's got an amazing pixel mapper. And it's just all there. It's in front of you. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not really coding person, as you know. Uh, Jai from earlier, earlier ago when we were trying to start out the network. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is go into pixel map mode again. Edit group layout of the LED beams. So I can select the floor beams. Because I have not uh, made the fixtures on here yet uh, correctly and they're just all random so now I'm just going to select them all again and do an up position there we go oh also yeah like I said I am going to use this uh, show file for that's ugly sorry um, just wait till I show you the bitmapper I've not seen that I'll be honest but I'm not the type like I see a lot of people like I'm not going to say that uh, I see a lot of people really well I'm slag off over desks uh, and they've not even used them and I'm not that type of person you know use it before you you know say anything like but yeah anyways right uh, so we've got our main positions really now the downwards forwards and then upwards lovely right okay uh, I think before we carry on with the positions, I'm going to start making the workspaces, which is also really important to me. Uh, so, let's just, they're all output DMX. Just wait, yeah. Right, okay, so, let's edit this uh, group layout. Uh, 
well, let's edit the workspace because I've got different workspace windows here. Um, so let's create what workspace window should we create? Let's create a just colors window for now because I've not really got any ideas. <laughs> right, okay, so let's just select the, go uh, the colors. There we are, all the colors here. And actually, what I might do as well is I'm gonna put them probably to the side, probably down here. There we are, about there. And then I'm gonna get the groups in because you can't actually select the um, colors without selecting groups and stuff first. And I just want to try something a sec. So if I move that there, does that change that? Yeah, it does. Don't want that. Put it there. Right, what I'm going to do... Because oh, I've just absolutely lost it. Right, delete, delete. C colors and gobos. Here we are. Not colors and groups. Uh, Cedric, you're an MA fanboy, really. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, groups and colors so there we go so now we've got a groups and colors workspace uh what else should we create let's create a time code workspace actually yes a set list and a time code workspace because i keep forgetting this is actually going to be used for tutorials not just for fun or, in, uh, or anything evo close is a quick way to close all windows evo close where's that i didn't actually know that wait hang on a sec evo close why was I not aware of this feature? Wait, the AVO key and close. I'm being so stupid right now, aren't I? It's probably right in front of me. And I can't even see it. Right, okay. <laughs> right. Um. Okay, so let's close the groups because I can't find the close button. Yeah. I remember the time when I got told about the uh, undo button. It was so funny. I was at Shambhala with Greg, who helps write the software. And he did this thing. I was like, what are you doing there? He was like, oh, the Evo key in back. I'm like, you what? He's like, the undo button. I was like, there's an undo button. And I didn't even know about it until he told me. And I was just like, so much work that I lost just because I forgot. Well, just because I didn't actually know the undo button actually existed. Right, okay, so let's do a time time code, time code one. Actually, let's make multiple time code windows. I'm not sure. So let's, let's think here. So we're going to do tutorials. We're going to do tutorial about time code as well. We're going to do stream about time code. So maybe we should have the time code, just time code, shall we? It just looks like a massive button. <laughs> right, okay. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure to like the video. That would be much appreciated. Also, share. That, also, that will also be much appreciated. Right, okay. So, let's just check this out. So, where should I put it? Because, obviously, I want to do tutorials about... Shall I add the set list? Let's have a look. Uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, what else should we add in it? Should we just add... Yeah, just... Let's just add, yeah. Let's add the set list as well because you know we want it to make, we want it to look nice. We don't want it to be just one massive button. All the main consoles are good and have their strengths and weaknesses. They would not be in business otherwise. Exactly, that is exactly right. Right, set list. Just kind of annoys me sometimes how people say, "Oh, this is bad," and they haven't even tried it. Right, so we've got our set list, and we've also got our time code. So I'm gonna call that set list slash time code and then I'm probably just gonna make one big time code window as well call that time code there we go so uh, let's go back to groups Um right okay so Let's sync, let's sync, let's sync, let's sync. It's going to be used for tutorials. What else are we going to talk about? Let's go into open workspace window. See what else is in there. Um, we could do a live workspace. That could be a good idea. So basically what we could do is just move the 
positions in a little bit more. Move the goal balls over here. Just oh, oh, perfect size. That is a bit small for a workspace when doing it. So what we're going to do is just go like that. Um, put that up there. Yeah, am I even making a difference? Probably not. Oh, go up here. I'll probably go about there. Actually, I've got an idea. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna put that down here. Put this here. Put that in the corner because I just kind of want it to look neat as well with the groups. So if I go like that, as you can see, it goes into sp into uh, space. Uh, if you need help looking for the undo button, I can lend you one of my magnifying glasses. <laughs> I think it says undo on the console. Yeah, it does, Sherlock Holmes. What a bloody tosser. Yeah, um, you click A, V, key and back. I know where it is, alright? I know where it is. I know where it is. Yeah, I know where it is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I offended anyone. I just realised what I've done as well. Steve, I'll send you the 50 quid. <laughs> oh, He's only a kid, old Steve. He has a lot to learn, hey. Every day is a learning day for, you know, no matter the age. You know, if you've been in the industry for long, if you haven't. Right, okay, let's add the time code window in. I did actually a story about how I started lighting. Uh, if you feel free to check that out. I started... Well, not officially, because every time I say it, people are just like, "Oh, you're lying," but I'm not lying. It's right. So, I would I would say I officially started lighting. Well, I started lighting at six, but not officially. Not officially. That's just playing about. That's just playing about. Because uh, my dad got introduced um, to. Uh, well, he was a, he was he played in a band, so basically that's kind of how it began. Braille, I need the money. <laughs> yeah, basically, me and Steve set up a bet. Uh, every time I say sorry, I have to give him money because I always say sorry. Right, so let's add a playback view in now. Playbacks. I don't use this window much. Sometimes I use this window if it's for smoke or haze or maybe strobe. What's this? But yeah, anyway. Let's carry on. So I'll probably call this uh, the uh, busking page. It's really random though. It looks really weird. To be fair. Or does it? I don't know. Let's just move this there. That's really weird for a time code to be that long. Oh, I'm being stupid. Right, what I'm going to do is just put it in the corner. And then, maybe add a set list here. Wait, what, how big does it look? No, I'm not going to add a set list there. Uh, let's go on to undo, undo history. Let's create an undo history. Put that here. This is going to be useful. There we go. And then... I record that. I might change it later, though. I'll change. I'll call that a uh, live page. Live page. There we go. Live page. Live page. Um, and then because you know, for the for the, I'm not going to say for the laws. Even no, I've just said it. I'm not that cringy. Um, let's add a. What is it? Let's add a media space. Oh wait, no, because I'm on eleven point four, so. Let's go on here. Uh, open workspace. Media. Should we create a media workspace? Um, let's have a look. What have we got? Effect editor, fixtures, groups and palettes, mobile wing, media, macros, patch view, positions. Um... 
shall we create a... What's that? That's one thing I don't know. Yeah. Well, okay. Um, I don't know what else to make uh, in workspace. So I feel like that might be it. Yeah, probably just leave it there. Okay. So yeah, that's uh so that's really the page I'm going to be using mostly. I might use this page now and again. Uh but yeah, right. Okay, so save that. What time is it? Cuz I might have a little bit of a break, not too much of a break though. Probably like a few seconds. <laughs> right, okay. So okay. I am uh probably yeah, not right now. I'll t give it about 5 minutes and then I'll go for a break. Uh, right, okay, so we've got our movers done, uh, positions, we'll create some more positions right now, so we'll just select all the movers there, go like that. Actually, as well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the locate position. Can we look at merging in Artnet Universe with Resolume used as a color source for the pixel map while also maintaining uh, control of the fixtures? Uh, I've ne I never used Resolume, but I remember actually doing something like that while I was at Steelyard. Because I, I, there is it's in it's kind of in the DMX settings as well, uh, in a way. Uh, I think. But I've never done that before, and I've I don't really play with um, Resolute much. But yeah, right, okay, we'll record that as our locate position. There we go. Just locate them all. Yeah, okay. So as you can see, gone into that locate position. Um, and then let's probably. I mean, I might change that. I mean, I know I sound really picky, but. I might change instead of yellow white if you know what I mean so we'll just clear that out go for select them all look at white record fix oh no it's highlight uh, set as highlight state so we'll try that out just now Yeah, it's quite advanced to be fair, but you know, if I do start to learn Resolume, I probably will do a video on it, maybe. But I'm kind of learning AI at the moment. But I know, let me show you actually real quick. I won't show you the full thing because I'm not fully sure myself. But system DMX settings when it loads, when Resolume is on, it'll probably appear here. Uh, so it'll probably say under Artnet or something like that, saying like Resolume, and then when you put it in and then maybe as well I mean it depends because actually I'm describing it in a weird way because uh, there was actually a separate VJ but if you're wanting to actually control it yourself you can patch it in as well I believe um, as well because uh, I, sorry I was thinking I went into so because I, I did a show called Virus uh, not long ago and there was a separate VJ and he was controlling from Resolume but he wanted to do a thing where he could actually select the colours of the visuals when I select the colours uh, on here uh, in a way. His name was... I can't remember his name now. It was with vi uh, Video Illusions. But yeah. Uh, so that is... Uh, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick break. Uh, I'm going to go get myself a drink. I'll probably be about three minutes. Uh, so I will be back very shortly, I promise I will be back.
If we can't make our minds up, why can't we decide where's the best place to meet up? I am back, everyone. Sorry about that. Uh, I just put some chips on as well. Uh, I'm just gonna let this stream sort itself out. Um, right. So whilst uh, whilst you know, I'm waiting for the. What's this? Oh. Right. If my video's fine as well, just let me know. Um, there we go. It should be okay now. I'm hopping. Um, yeah, I just want to go make some chips. <laughs> but yeah, right. Lovely. Awesome. Got myself some crisps here as well. Uh, which I'm gonna eat. Uh, I'm not gonna eat it right now though. I'm just gonna eat it like now and again. Hmm. Okay. So what I've done is I've done the workspaces. Now to be fair, uh, there's not gonna be like much. I mean, obviously there will be programming for it, but it doesn't necessarily need a lot of programming, as um. As it's kind of like a, a tutorial thing and we want to save the playbacks for tutorials and everything like that um so yeah right so I will carry on making some positions though uh, whilst we are at it so obviously I can use the highlight button with uh, Avo so just go like that something there we go So I should have really selected all the fixtures. What does that do for select the rest of the fixtures? Does that do anything either? That's all right here. Yeah. So we'll go like that, I'd say. And then fix plus one. Got that as well. Does that, all, does that look all right? So basically, I'm just making uh, the cross position as well now. Uh, so if I just select all the fixtures and I record that as just a cross, oh, just a cross right there. I've just no go. Oh my lord, I'm sorry. Right, I keep saying that. Right, there we go. Cross, 
And then we'll just do one where it's like raised up a little bit. So we'll first do that off with the washers so we can just see. So forward. Uh, and then another position for the mega point is which is forward as well. It might need to change a little bit uh, actually. I'm not too sure. Actually, one sec, let me just put them down and do it with the beams first. Hmm, that's alright. Uh, then the spots as well. Uh, don't worry, you didn't miss much uh, DJ Renz, I just went for a, <laughs> a break. Uh, right, okay. Also, please remind me, because I have got chips in the oven and my Amazon Echo isn't on. I probably will set the alarm on my phone in a sec. Does that look alright? So there we go, we've got like the forward cross position as well. Um, let me just quickly go into back into men. There we go. Right, so let's just make that as uh, X two, not X X one forward. So we'll make a few different cross positions. Go down so I can just see what I'm doing again, and um, point the beams up, up, upwards. Select it again with the group layouts select the back ones there we go select them up as well uh, the mega point is there's one position I really do want to do as well and that is a fan position so you can see how the LED beams are in threes um, on the uh, on capture and I kinda wanna make like little finger effects that's a real one of my favorite positions I've got to say so we'll put that up as well. Pointing up. There we go. All movers up. Uh, we'll just do the cross again with the drawing. How's everyone's lockdown going? I, in fact, I'd like to hear what people are doing for their lockdowns. Uh, that'd be quite interesting as well. Uh, let me just set this timer for my chips. Set it for about... 12 minutes, 10 minutes, I'll say it for 10 minutes, I'll go check, and then yeah. Right, okay, so, lovely, I'm really glad, I'm really happy right now, because nothing is screwing up, which is good. So let me explain about the uh, little finger effects. So if I click the LED beam 100, select them all going forward, you see, like, that's not what I'm trying to go for, don't worry. Uh, so if I just go in 50 pan, oh, 50 pan again. So if I just uh, select them in three, so highlight, hold it in, oh, one in, uh, one in three, does that do it right? Let's have a look. No, not really. I'll just select it via the edit, uh, the group layout then. So edit group layout, select them. So what I'm going to do is select, oh, just deselect them, select the right fixtures first go to the right but the back fixtures do need to be changed a little bit text me on instagram i'll send you my number there uh, i can't really go on instagram at the moment i've turned my internet off uh just so the stream doesn't screw up uh sorry about that right there we go uh so let's just do another side with the finger effects Hang on, what's that on? That is on 54.45. So we'll change that to 54.45. Pan. Right. Okay, then we've got this one here. Which we'll change to about there, maybe. And then these will change as well, which will go all about there. Lovely. You see, that is one of my favourite positions. Just... The nice little finger effect, you know, it's like, it's not really that good, hang on a sec, let me just uh, go back into capture a sec and just have a look at that, so, what was it, it's, looks like it's that, that's kind of doing my head in a little bit. I don't know if it's me, but it doesn't even look like it's on the same tilt. Well, they are, but, I might, I might just be weird, hang on, what the hell, that looks really weird.
Right, there we go. Right. Okay. So, let's just select the... No, actually, we won't do the beams yet. We'll keep that there. Uh, well, how many have we got there? Right. Okay, so then we'll do a fan with the spots as well. Or could we do a different fan? Could we do more of an interesting fan, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, fan. There we go. Washers. Fan them out as well. Just make a simple fan position. There we go. Right, okay. Uh, oh, could you? Nah, we'll just save that. Right, save that. Um, so, I might actually thinking about it. Let it do its thing. There we go. <laughs> right, what I might do is I'm gonna do this. Okay. I'm such a perfectionist, I'm sorry. Right, there we go. Oh, what the hell, there we go. Right. Okay, so basically, what I might do is, if I just select all the lights real quick, put them in fan. So if I look at the beams, I might actually make that like a separate group, uh, separate position. So if I just call that, um, I don't know, should I call it a th three finger effect? Finger effect, maybe. Um, beam finger. I just put beam fan. Beam fan. There we go. Beam fan. And then what we can do is just make like a separate normal fan position for them as well, which is just like that. Select the floor beams as well, and change the pan to about fifty. And then we'll do the same, but inverted. There we go. Lovely. That's what we like to see. Right, so if we just record that now. Record the over there. No, we'll, we'll merge it. So we don't replace it. We'll merge it. There we go. So now if we select the movers. There we go. Beam fan. It's got a separate thing. Has it? Let's just look at them again. Normal fan, beam fan's not doing anything, why? Okay, I don't know what happened there. One sec, let me just uh, do that little three-fingered fan again. So we'll go there, there, we'll do it real quick. Won't take long. How do you, uh, how do, you do a fan? Uh, so, first off, you've got to make sure, like I said earlier, you go, that your uh, group layout is correct and it's all uh, even. Uh, in the pixel mapper group layout uh, and then you can start doing fans by clicking fan I'll show you in a second um, I'll show you again because I did do that pretty quick to be fair 50 what was that 53 55 30, 31 55 31 there we go and then just do that okay there we go Okay, so we'll currently. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that, Sherlock. Right, just merge that in. There we go. So that done itself. Right. Okay. So basically, let me show you real quick again, Steve. Uh, let's select the washers. I'm really liking these BIs. Uh, we'll just make give it a thin beam. Oh God, I just realised the uh, it's covered, isn't it? Because of my camera. One sec. Get rid of that. Uh, I'll also move this over here for now. So, to do the fan, uh, oh, was that alright? I don't know. Anyway, right. So, you click fan, okay? Uh, you can hold it in if you want, and you can do different types of fans. So, you've got curve, so you've got line, mirror, wings, arrow, you've got so many different ones. You've got split uh, fan into parts, so you can split it into one part, two parts, three parts, uh, etc. And then, when you just click fan again, Start to pan, you can see 
it fans them out. So what I'll do real quick is let me just put that into an on position, put that back a second. There we go. Right, okay, so let's create a different type of fan effects now. So what we'll do Okay, got to go now by Elliot and everyone else stay safe. Thank you, DJ Renz, thank you for joining the stream. Uh right. Sorry, I was just, I thought I smelt my burning chips then. Uh it's not the burning chips. Uh it won't take long to get. Anyway, right, okay, so So locate the BIs again. Okay, uh let's actually Yeah, actually what I might do is locate them all and give them all thin beams just so it's easy to see. B eyes are you thin? Yeah, you're thin, right. So select them all, record, locate, record, there we go, right, okay. So let's record let's locate the beam sorry the washers again. Uh let's do a different type of fan now this time. So if we click uh fan uh curve, let's do a mirror. So oh sorry one sec, I did something wrong there. Fifty Oh, God damn it! One sec. Uh, so let me just put it back to its normal position. That is not its normal position, right? There we go. So, okay, fan. Make sure it's on mirror. And there we go. Look at that. Lovely. And that's just that's just from the fan effect. That's just, that's just from the fan in uh, position. So we'll do that on the mega pointers as well. Fan. Mirror that out there. Lovely. Do it with the beams, fan. I can't really see the beams. I really should have set to different beams. Oh. So I'm going to look at the beams because they've been a bit awkward. Yeah. Right, okay. Edit, edit group layout of this. Fan them positions into a, a nice position. That's actually going to look nice. There we go. And then, do it again with the mega point is. We don't really need a. Well, we'll look at the mega point is. That is my. Oh, don't restart that. That is my chips. One sec. I will get my chips after this part. So, fan. Fan them out like so. Fan them also out with the BIs. So it looks nice. Let's see. Out there, okay. So select them, put that as a mirror. So we'll go like this. Cool, right? Awesome. I'm gonna go get my chips. Uh, give me about it's not gonna take long. I'm just gonna check to see if they're cooked. If they're not cooked, I'll come straight back up. Uh, also, whilst I get my chips. And, uh, ask some questions in the live chat as well, uh, and I'll answer them when I get back. Uh, again, it won't take long. I'm going to get them right now. Cheers. They're not actually ready yet, um, so I'm gonna give it like another 15 minutes. Uh, so go back because they look quite. Or should I give it 10 minutes? 10 minutes. Go check them on them again in about 10 minutes. Right. Okay. Cool. So uh, a nice little position. A nice song. That is from Ollie Walker. Sorry, I had to leave. One of my friends. Uh, check him out. Um, right. Have you got any other questions? Do you use Artnet? Uh, yes, I do. Now and again, it depends. Uh, sometimes we use well, we use Artnet uh, for Shambhala, uh, and also if we've like you know got a long distance between the stage and front of house. Um, 
Also, what else have we got? Uh, what do you think of Ayrton? Unfortunately, I've never used Ayrton, but they do look quite nice. They do look like nice fixtures. Uh, but hopefully one day I'll be able to use them. And especially their IP... Um, <coughs> uh, same with their IP movers. Right. I have seen the Ollie Walker show. Yeah, there's a lot of things. Well, we've, we've kind of programmed the stock rig. Um, we did have a lot of shows this year, but unfortunately, most of them got cancelled due to the coronavirus, you know, which is a shame, obviously. But, oh, well, you know, make me hungry. Get some snacks, guys. Anyway, right. Let's, uh, let's do this next part. So, let's raise the beams to forward height. But that looks like about there. Something like that. Yep. Uh, mega point is, and again, the reason why I'm not doing the front spots, uh, the front profiles, is because, um, well, because they're going to be mostly on the band, so I didn't really want to program the positions for them. Right. Okay. So we'll record that as I haven't done the fan part yet either. Um. So mirror. Mirror forward, forward, there we go, uh, and then mirror up. So we'll just grab the mega pointers again. There we go. Uh, washes pointing up as well. And we'll also grab the beams point up as well, shapes, effects, edit group layout, grab the floor ones, point them up as well. Oh I got snacks, don't you worry. Good, good, I'm glad. Uh, right, okay, up. So we'll go like this this time, drawing wise. There we go, lovely. We'll save that. As well, just in case my laptop decides to crash on this uh, on this stream. But yeah, oh right, I'm glad because every stream I start stressing, but so far everything's just going perfect, and I don't want to jinx it. Right, let's create another. Let's create another mirror. Oh, shall we? Now we need to do the uh, fans first so down obviously when you've got forward kind of is that, how is that looking let's have a look at that well, that's not looking too bad we'll probably edit it in a second anyways um mega point it uh, also forward uh, i feel like that does need editing to be fair that one yeah we'll have a look at it in a second though Hmm. Uh, and then we've got the LED beam 100s once again. Forward. Select them all. Oh, you bloody ah ah! But <laughs> Evo, where's back? Ah, oh. and back. Yay! <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Uh, can we see something you are working on with Ollie or another DJ? Um, I don't know if I can necessarily show you anything of, of Ollie's right now because uh, it's really all a secret and I don't want him to tell me off. Uh, if he was still here, he, uh, he might say something. But you know, if he's still here, but I, I'm, I'm, I don't think I can right now. I'm afraid, but. Yeah. Uh, right. Fan for forward. Forward. Wait, I just spelled that wrong. Fan forward. No, it's yeah. Fan forward. Right. Okay. Then fan up. There we go. Fan up. Get the beams as well. About there. What are the Point is on 53, 35, 53, 35, tilt, just a minute, oh, that was weird, oh, right, that's, oh, 
Ah, oh, Demar. We'll just do it like this anyway. Uh, grab the other beams, which are here. Pint them up, pint them up as well. There we go. Lovely, right? Just like them. Fan up. If you guys also want, I mean, because I don't want to bore you, you see. Uh, do you guys want to see other positions being made? I mean, just because I didn't want you getting bored or anything. And there you go, there's a little flashy thing for you. Might make that a little bit bigger. Yeah, if you want me to carry on uh, doing positions, let me know. But obviously, it's quite boring, I would imagine. So, let me just... It looks like a flower. There we are. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I would do more positions, but again, I don't really want to bore you guys with, you know, boring position making. What light's still on? But yeah. Right. Okay, uh, yeah. Save that real quick. Uh, disk, save that. Right. Okay. Uh, so we've done the colours, we've done the movements, sorry, the uh, the groups, obviously. We have done the gobos, and then we've done the positions. So, I think now, uh, before we carry on making positions, because it is, you know, I'm sure it might be a little bit boring. If you do want me to carry on though with it, let me know. Um, is, obviously, actually we do need to make a page just for fixtures. So, what I'll do is create another workspace. Get rid of that. Open that up. Uh, that is fixtures. F oh, fixtures. There we go. Lovely, right? And then we'll set the legends for them. Uh, should we? Sorry, set the halos. Or shall we? Let's see. Do we need halos for them? Um, groups of colors. Yeah, go on then. We'll. We'll add halos, just so it stands out a little bit more. I won't take too long though on the halos. But yeah, the reason why I'm doing this again is because it stands out a little bit more. It's not just uh, grey. Now we'll make the last one white. And probably just make that white as well. There we go, right. Okay, save that. Uh, and then we'll probably have a look in settings because I might make the text a little bit bigger. See what that does. But I don't really want to because I'm going to use the settings. So let me explain real quick as well. So if you click system or on a console, Avo key and disk, uh, go to user settings. This is where you can change a lot of your stuff, especially in version 13 where you can actually have like a lock screen, um, your custom lock screen. So if we go over to which one was it now? Was I ah, okay? So we want to change the button size. So let's just move this here a little bit. Oh, here, so we can see better. There we go. Oh. Jesus Christ, that is not what we want. Uh, go back to that, because that is absolutely disgusting. User settings. Handle that. Normal, normal, please. Text size. Yeah, change the text size to not a lot. Change it to large, so we can see it. And handle walls can be normal. There you go, that's my overtimer. My chips are probably on fire. I can actually smell them, which isn't good. Uh, right, how old was you when you got your quartz and how did you pay for it? Uh, I was about... Um, how old was I now? 14? I think when I got my quartz, 13 or 14. I'm going to go check these chips real quick. Uh, I'm going to go check the chips. 
I'm gonna go check the chips. I'll be back. my oh I have my chips which is good <laughs> right right nothing to distract us now chips are ready got them there got my drink right we're set I'm also gonna move my chair down a little bit there we go right lovely right okay so right so now I've done my positions I've done my colors I've done the workspaces I've done really most of the main things now I'm gonna save the show again real quick I'm gonna go into the fixtures tab and I'm gonna change these so they're actually in order now again it's nothing that will take for ages uh, I'll explain to you the process as well and again if anyone has any questions during this you are more than welcome to ask what oh right YouTube messes with me sometimes sorry uh, right okay so the reason why this is a good thing to do is again something I didn't do as well this was meant to be done before I did the positions but this is really good for positions, this is really good for making chases with, and it's also good because you can select lights much, much easier. So if we select all the BI sec, put them there first, and just move the rest down one. Uh, right, so if we just locate the BI's now, uh, highlight, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the right, oh, I'm going to put them in the right order. So what I'm going to do is select that, set them, oh, God's sake, right, move, move that there, we've got that one there, which can go over here, and as you can see, it just makes life much easier when you do this. We don't want to unfold it. So move, move, I don't know what I'm doing right, move, move them down one, maybe two. Uh, we've got another one here, so that one can go right next to it. And then another one on the front as well. Did I not move that? What is happening? Why is it not letting me move? Okay, right. Uh, move, uh, right, move that one that way. No, we're not, actually gonna move it that way move that one this way move that here 
Okay, cool. And then we've got that one as well, which is at the back, that looks like. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is... We've got another one at the middle. Middle. Another one on the middle, which we'll put that about there. And then move them both there. Two at the back, which are here. And imagine that one's the same, yet. And then that one is on the side. So now it's much easier. <coughs> it's much easier for me to see my fixtures. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put them a little bit more close together. There we go. And I'm gonna put them up into the corner here. And then I'm gonna do the automatic halo color. Uh, would be so much easier if the layout in the fixture window was also the pixel map layout. It saves you doing it twice. Yeah, actually. Hang on a sec, because obviously when you make a group, let me show you an example. So if I go back into groups and palettes, so all movers, right? If I select all movers, just clear that out. All movers, shapes and effects, pixel mapper, edit group layout. You can see it's a bit weird, but like, let me just do something real quick. Because I've just thought of an idea that like you've just sparked into my head, Harry. So what I'm going to do is make a separate group real quick. Set legend, no, not set legend. Shapes and effects. Pixel mapper. Edit group layout. You see, that's kind of why I don't <laughs> do it, because uh, as you can see, um, it's very messed up, and I kind of like it when it's in rows, not in like one area. So if I go back to fixtures, I'm gonna do it in different areas. So this is gonna be the, um, this this part is gonna be the washers. The next part is gonna be the spots. And it just it, it's much easier to see as well. Uh, can you give us one secret that you wish you knew at the start? Uh... So I'm gonna put myself. <laughs> I'm joking, right? Um, let me think. Hmm. Well, first one is the undo button for sure. <laughs> um. I'm not really sure. No, well, no, because I couldn't have done that. Because obviously when you were younger, when I was younger, I wasn't actually allowed to go to exhibitions like Plaza or anything like that because you need to be a certain age. Um, secrets. Do you mean like programming-wise or do you mean getting shows? Uh, what kind of way do you mean by secrets? Right, let's move these ones down as well. Go down there. There we go. Oh, move that there. A massive shout out as well to people who are moderators, like Harry, uh, Outdream Creative. Uh, they really do, like, I've just recently made Harry a moderator, but basically it makes life so much easier for me, and it's just like I can actually do the stream without worrying about the live chat all the time. So thank you for... Well, I kind of feel sorry for Harry because I just kind of gave him the role without even saying. Um, but it just kind of gave me an idea because when we were talking on Messenger just earlier ago, he was like, what the hell's that? Hang on a sec. Well, I just selected a beam accidentally. All oh, right. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, thank you, Harry and Sam and Cedric. Uh Programming secrets, just asking the kids an aspiring LED and wanted to some advice. Uh, right, hang on, so just asking the kids and aspiring LED. Right, okay, so basically, um, programming, I, I think there's no, not really, I don't have a programming secret. I mean, the only thing, or do I? Hmm. I'm not too sure. Uh, I'll think about the programming secrets because I've just, with doing YouTube, I don't really have any secrets anymore. Um, but with like advice, uh, just like people who want to do programming and everything, is don't copy other people's programming, even if that's Christian Jackson, if it's anyone else, if it's, if it's me. Make your own programming because it's not about stealing other people's work it's about you need to find your right programming method and once you've found that programming method you'll able to program shows and you'll able to feel comfortable even if people say your programming's crap 
don't listen to them because the thing is if you understand your programming that's what counts that's the only thing that counts and you know the rainbow thing doesn't count do you still want that magnifying class shipping maybe it's slow at the moment so sorry if it takes a long time i hope your eyes don't deteriorate too fast you know what sherlock i might need some uh magnifying glasses soon <laughs> You know, never point your eyes into lasers. Even though I'm joking, I've never done that. I've never done that. I don't think I've done that. Right, we've got four on the back. Is that right? Cool. Uh, another one there. Thanks for the kind words. It has made his day. No worries. Thank you for asking me anyway. <laughs> Right, let's, uh, oh. Right, that's not looking too shabby, is it? I don't know. It is looking a bit shabby, to be fair. Let's, uh, have a look again. Right. That one needs to be... There. Hello Cedric again, I thought you left. And then over one here, I'm guessing that's it. Yeah. And then you got that one and then oh. What's that? Hang on a sec. We just got some random mega point that's not even doing anything. Move them. What are they? Oh. So we got them. Right, which is wrong here, so we need to go like that. And I'm imagining that these actually extend out a little bit more. If I'm correct. Yeah. Oh, and I just did something. Okay. Move that over here, and then extend that out. So it reaches about here. Move these to. Oh, you donkey. Move these about. Oh, you are an absolute donkey, Elliot. You are an absolute donkey. Um, there we go. And then do the same with these because we want it to look nice. Why would you thank me for trusting you, Cedric? <laughs> Don't worry though, like, thank you anyway. But of course I trust you. Right, move these. There. Oh, why did he do that? Honestly, you donkey, right? Sorry about that, everyone. I'm being absolutely stupid. Right, there we go. You see that? You see that? You see, not too shabby. You've got your, you've got your mega pointies there. Look at that. Nice, right, and then we've got the beams, which won't take too long, because they're in threes, and it's not too hard. So, we'll move them. We'll move the rest down, just so we've got more space. Down there. Three of them going to move down. Right. Okay, so we've got... Our beams. Lovely. Look at them fast tilts. Right. So. What take too long? Let's just have a look. Are they already in position? Pretty much. So all we need to do is just go like that. There. That. Move that. There. Oh, you. Move them. Select them. Put them there. Bang. Bang. Right. Move them two up there, including that one. What are these? There we go. And then put them up. Oh, 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 oh. Right. And then put these up a one. Put them up one. Oh, my lord. There we go. Then put them into the middle. 
pretty much. There we go. And then we don't really need to focus on these because, you know, they're just in the line anyway. Wait, hang on a sec. What? Oh, right, that was weird, sorry. Um, so we just need to put them there, pretty much. Put these here. Put these about there. And then, yeah, pretty much. And this really, really helps my programming, uh, in a way. So if you guys want this idea, I mean, most people do it anyway. Well, this light, uh, this is, well, it was on automatic, but I decided, so it doesn't look less bad, I attached it to my quartz, which is next to me right now, and just DMXed it up, and currently it's just doing an orange circle with a global on it. Yay. And the one in the corner, that's just a little, that one over there is just a little LED parkan, which I just set to orange. But yeah, right, so we got that done, uh, we've got stormies we need to put into, we'll make, make it look more nice, obviously. Select them, locate them, turn the strobe on. So that one is, let's have a look. That one's in the corner, this one is in the middle, this one, we'll put that there. This one is also in the middle. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. Uh, I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers, which I never even knew I would even reach. Can we have a studio tour? Uh, yes, but believe it or not, this isn't actually my studio. This is my, well, this is my bedroom, obviously, as you know. But I've actually got a, a physical studio, uh, which is in a commercial property. Unfortunately, I can't go there right now because, due to current circumstances, we are in lockdown. Uh, and it's in Keyflate. But, hopefully one day when that's all over, I'll be able to show you the studio. Uh, which I was going to... I was meant to do episode 4 for the office thing. But, uh, there was a lot of confusion. Not in the office, but in general. So... Uh, we held that off a little bit, but I might do like a little see, a little uh, episode where we go back in, you know. And to be fair, when we moved in, it became locked down, so there's still a lot of work to do. Um, there is a few pictures online, uh, but there is still a lot of work to do. Uh, the walls, the, the walls don't reach the roof. It sounds weird, but uh, in the building, it used to be a massive uh, department store or something like a co-op. And um, due to you know, because of the law, there is a uh, fire, ex uh, fire, little rain things, um, sprinklers, uh, and the sprinklers need to obviously shoot out if there's a fire because it's a really, really big space. So on the walls, uh, they've actually been moved down because of the sprinklers, but now uh, things have changed a little bit. So now we can actually put the walls to the top, and then I'm going to put some nice orange LED strips around it so it lights up the top of the walls uh, but I'm really hoping to get it done after this lockdown but I'm not able to spend any money at all because I still need to pay rent apparently which sucks and uh, I mean it's understandable but it sucks so I can't spend any of my money whatsoever right now and I'm hoping lockdown goes soon but uh, yeah it's quite awkward at the minute, not with the office, but with money in general because of lockdown. But yeah, right. Fixture groups, sorry, fixture layouts have been done, as you can see here. Colors, groups, positions. Save that real quick. Can I send some fan art? Uh, my wife is really good at painting. Would be, uh, would be cool for the studio uh yeah sure i mean if you want to send it via instagram or email or something i'm not sure i mean i've never done anything like that before as in like, i don't know uh if you want to send it via uh yeah anyway uh yeah gobos colors uh positions and some more gobos i mean colors I, i'm losing my words so now 
uh, we've this is really the main programming done. So we've done this area as well. Uh, we I might do some more positions whilst I'm at it. Uh, anyways, and what I'm going to do as well is create a position on the spots. Uh, so one covering the whole stage, and one just covering artists. So we'll highlight it, pan that in. There we go. Uh, there we go. Pan that a little bit to the right. Okay, so now apparently these fixtures have framing shutters. Is that true? Yes, they do. So what I'm going to do is select the framing shutter here. Which one? Which side is it? Oh no, we don't need to do the framing shutters right now because that would be under gobbles, wouldn't it? But yeah, anyway, right. So we'll name that stage wash. Oh, stage wash. And then we'll create a separate one where it's just individual artists. So let's clear out, locate. Okay, oh, highlight. So let's have one tilt, uh, one pointing onto the bass or guitar player and one of the artists here there we go uh, we'll have a well we haven't actually added any floor park hands in yet for the drummers so you can't really see the drummer right now which is quite unfortunate but that's okay I'm sure I wouldn't mind until I sort this out <laughs> right and then the next one spot and then the next spot which basically is going to go onto the other DJ which is this D not not DJ but yeah I was actually going to do a DJ stage but I wanted to do a band stage so I can do stuff like this where you know you can do um, you can light up certain band members and everything like that instead of just one person so if I just put uh, bands there we go even though we've got source force as well which the source force are doing first full stage wash uh, I believe so if we just go on here now we just let's say change the zoom oh we'll select the profiles again uh, change the zoom to about there so now you've got one for the bands that's going way too slow you've got one for the bands got one for the band members and then you've got one for the whole stage which is what we want uh, and then we have should we make yeah let's make more positions and then what I might do as well is I'm gonna make a queue where it's like when you open the console the queue goes into like a position so what I mean by that is you can make a setting on the console where when you turn on like a console or the software it'll go onto that queue so let's say you've got let's say you know like a like spiral stage line is my company so we want all the lights orange doing some nice glittery effects so when you turn on or load this uh, load the show file it'll do that which is pretty cool so yeah gonna eat another chip <laughs> but if anyone has any questions as well on the way please let me know I'm more than happy to answer them right so locate them let's select the washers let's do a, a pan inwards like that fan them in as well like that and then the beams can do the same thing but again they're being awkward and that is why we have this fixtures page so we can now select them instead of going on to the group layout Ah, oh, you absolute donkey I've done something wrong here 
I knew I'd do this or something. I kind of rushed this part, as you can see. So, what I need to do is move up there. That's actually. Oh, yeah, that's actually. I always use console, I never use Titan Simulator, so bear me. So, there. That's. That one is here. That one's right. That one switches round over here. That one's correct. That one's correct. That one's correct. That one's correct. Done. Right. Okay. Cool. All right. So let's do that again. So select all the movers. I'm going to turn off my window set because it's quite warm in here. So I'm going to do the mirror thing. So, what I'll do is I'll do the be washes first again. And there you go. Find that in. Like so. Same with spots. Again, this fan feature is really helpful. And then do it with the beams as well. And then, as you can see, the floor beams are inverting. But that's, like I said... We have got the fixtures page for a reason. So as you can see now. What? One sec, one one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. What is this? Oh my lord. And then that one. Wow. Nice going, Elliot. Again, you. Right, okay. Uh, how long is this going to go on for? I'm not too sure. So we got beams. There we go. Done that. Done that. Right, that's actually done. Okay, so do that again. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, locate them again. Do the fan. Uh, do the fan here. Are you what? What's going on now? Oh, there we go, right. Find them in like that. Make another one for the pointies. Find them in as well. Like that, yeah. And then, uh, beams. We'll do the beams. Uh, and then we'll find them in like that. And this time. This time, when we go into fixtures, this time they will actually break. So as you can see now, the group layout is correct. So there we go. About as all right. There we are. About there. Perfect. Right. Uh, why did it spell like that? Uh, basically, uh, Sam was saying something in the group. He was in, in the live chat. He said it is... Uh, if I can find it. Where is it? Where are you, Sam? Let's see where the where it was mentioning it. Wow, there's a lot of m messages on here. Oh, my lord. Ha! <laughs> I can say, where is it? Was it before? I can't remember. Anyway, uh, it's like a it's like a dummy type thing. I'm not fully sure, uh, but apparently it's like it's Titan Simulator. You can't really use it for shows, and it's like in in a way it's like a trial version type thing. It's like a trial thing. All right, do this next position now. About there. Oh yeah, whatever. Just do it like that. It's gonna do my editing, I'm sorry. Right. I should have brought I should have really bought a touch screen laptop. It's just so much easier. Well I don't know, I've never actually owned a touch screen laptop, so I'm not too sure. Right, okay, and then point them up once again, point them forward. Like that. Ugh, right, okay, we do need to change the beams a little bit again there 
There we go. Uh, and then the washers. We need to do the washers again. Not the washers again. Uh, we need to point them forward like so. Same with the pointies. Point them forward a little bit. There we go. And then beams. Once again, just got a bit more down. There we go. Touch screen is overrated on laptops, in my opinion. Yeah, because I've never used touch screen laptops, so I wouldn't really know. That makes no sense. How would Capture know when you store something in Ava? What? Do you mean like in a position or am I. Or is it a different question? Mirror to forward. There we go. And then just do one pointing up once again. Uh, LED beams. Grab the fixtures uh, on the floor and then just point them up. There we go, right. Okay, select them all again and then just do one pointing up as well. There we go. Also, as well, uh, if you're interested, uh, feel free to check out... I'm not finishing, don't worry. I'm just saying, feel free to check out my social media, Instagram, Facebook. We've got Spiral Stage Lighting, uh, my company, social medias, or mine, which is only Instagram, really. Uh, so, feel free to follow. The links will be in the description, I think so. But, yeah. Right. How long have we done now? We are on. Um, no worries, uh, Cedric. Uh, we are on two hours and four minutes. Right, okay. Okay. Do you mind if uh, I take a quick break again? If that's okay, just to eat some of these chips. I mean, they're here, so... I mean, I don't really want to eat them and then you just hear me chewing them, you see. Uh, <laughs> um, but, yeah. Right, let's have a look in the fans as well, actually. What else can we do? Mirror wings, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take a five minute break again just to eat some of these chips. I will be back. I promise. I don't want you to hear me eating these chips and like doing an ASMR thing. You see, but yeah. And if you guys have any questions as well, do not hesitate to ask. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have as well during whilst we program this. But yeah, I will be back in a second.
If we can't make our minds up, why can't we decide where's the best place to meet up? I'ma go crazy if we can't make our minds up. Why can't we decide where's the best place to meet Hello, again, I am back, right, okay, so yeah, I just ate some of my chips, I'm still going to keep eating them, but yeah, we are back in business, okay, so let's see, what, because we're on 2 hours and 11 minutes now, and I feel like we've mostly done everything, actually yeah, let's, um, because we've done a few positions, but I don't want to bore everyone with positions, so let's do like a queue where when we load the software when we load the show, the um, the show file it goes to that queue. So what we're gonna have to do is go in fixture mode, which it already is. So I'm gonna select the K twenties. I'm gonna turn them on and I'm also gonna zoom out. So this is lockdown series, so it should be like red and orange in a way. What's orange like? Ah, I'm just I'm just going red. Uh, let's see what's that like. We'll put it down so it's like on the stage as well. Um. <laughs> oh my God, no way, Sally. <laughs> Hello, sticks here. <laughs> oh, uh, anyway, right, so. Yeah, washers, probably gonna go for a red. Zoom him out. We don't want him on full boss, so we'll just turn him down a little bit, you know. Uh, MK3 profile. Probably turn them on as well, why not? Put them on red, or maybe orange. Definitely red. Um, we've got any go balls we can use. Let's just go to white sec so we can just stay. Uh, have a look. So, going to focus. Um, huh. 
Let's see what that looks like. Is that nice? It's Jar. I know many different types of jars. Oh, that's a bit bright. Okay, so we've got a nice gobo on the floor right now. Let's give it a slow rotate. It's a bit too fast, it's a bit too fast. Go for about 10. See ya. Oh, 10 speed, spin. Uh, go for about 15 then. Yep. Uh, what have we got? S glass. Okay, and then put it on RNG right and then we'll grab the mega point is um, zoom them out of course probably put these ones on the orange but that's not orange that's like really that's like yellow Zach's friend oh dear I know who you are <laughs> I'm joking welcome to the stream I didn't actually know you knew. I didn't actually know you knew I had a channel. Right. Okay. So let's go into like a nice kind of. Uh, let's focus that up. And there you go. Right. Yeah. That's again uh, a little Titan Simulator thing. Uh, it's because obviously it's not meant to be used for shows. Titan Simulator. Right. So let's add a nice spin on the mega pointies. Let's just, that's way too fast. 15. Is it even moving? Five, five. 42. 51. Oh, 51. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello Fraser. Right, okay, so we'll probably go for a nice little Well actually I've got an idea. So let's select them, right? Go into fixtures, select these and go inwards. What does that look like? Don't look too bad, don't look too bad. Go into a full screen type thing. It's going off stage though, so what I might do is just like grab the mega point is uh fixtures I'm oh, maybe going for middle there we go, and then let's turn the brightness up on them because you can't even see what even is going on. What's that look like? Let's have a look. Go into capture. What's the white ball in front of your face? White ball in front of my face. Oh, this! Oh, this is the microphone. Uh, <laughs> I know it's a bit weird, isn't it? I thought you meant like on my face. But yeah. Right. Have we got any other fixtures we can use? Let's turn on the side. Oh, a bit bright. Oh no, I forgot to change the framing shutters on the Source Fours. Oh, um, alright, we'll skip the Source Fours then for now. Turn on the washers a little bit more. Zoom out. Probably turn them down a little bit. And then, how's that looking? That is looking not too bad. What I might do though is grab the Mega Point is and just tilt them down so they're just on the stage in a way but what's that orange thing I want to know what that orange thing is, is that all oh, right all right okay cool yeah that was the um, the mk3 is doing that really brightish orange in the middle so what I might do well so what you can do now is this is really cool so like again I guess this is good for really. Is it an air freshener? What this? This is a microphone. An air freshener. Right. 
record. Uh, we'll set it as home. Set it as home. Put it on the first playback. Uh, so now I've recorded that here. I've recorded that in fixture mode uh, because that saves. Sorry, one second. Sorry. Um. Right, okay, so basically, um, yeah, so that's recorded in fixture mode, and what that does is it records the colours, it records everything in the programmer. Uh, if you're really doing, like, busking type stuff, I'd recommend going for channel mode. So now when we put that up, it's just going to snap in. But we want it to kind of... You know, fading in a way. So if we just type in three, that's going to take three seconds to fade in. There you go, three seconds. We might add a, a fade out time as well. So fade out two seconds, we'll make that two. Same with the fade in. So fade in two seconds, fade out two seconds. And then what I'm going to do is click options. Is it? Or is it handle fader? I'm just clicking random ones at the moment. Which one was it now? Because there is a uh, there is a way. Uh, a way. Ah, okay. Run. <coughs> Sorry. Run on startup. So what you need to do, right? Let's go back. Is select it. Options. Run on startup. So now, as you can see, there's like a little on button there. Every time you turn on the uh, turn on the, well this specific show file, it'll that'll be the first thing it does whilst it's coming on. And I don't know why, but it kind of, <coughs> it kind of reminds me of like making your own machine in a way. Like when you turn it on, it's like makes noises. It goes like boop boop boop. Um, Titan loading or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Do you know when you are going to finish Todd Kid's uh, Bed After Life? Uh, probably. We've kind of done everything now, to be fair. Actually, right, for now, right, has anybody got any questions? Because I probably am going to leave it at here. There's nothing else, really. I will be streaming on Tuesday as well, by the way, everyone. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But I'll let you know. Yeah, I've learned a lot. Thank you, Elliot. I'm getting a bit tired. I need to make some dinner for my wife. All right, okay, yeah. Well, I'll probably end it here then. Uh, if anyone uh, has any questions, in like, I'll give, I'll leave like five minutes. Uh, and if no one's got any questions, I'll just end it. Uh, but yeah, basically that's kind of it. We're not scrapping the show file though. We are going to use it. We're going to make a live stream on time code and everything like that. But next week on Tuesday. It's probably going to be a little bit different. How to connect AVO to capture. Pretty simple. It's in system, DMX settings, and then it's broadcast artnet. Uh, so it's, it's artnet or streaming ACN. And then in capture, it will show up on, you know, what kind of where you want to connect. Anyways. So... Thank you for watching the stream. I've really enjoyed it, everyone. Um, thank you, uh, f you know, f to the moderators. Thank you. Uh, I will be streaming on Tuesday at the same time. Uh, I'm not too sure yet. Feel free to subscribe and make sure to turn on notifications so you get notified about the streams and videos. And, uh, yeah. So, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you on Tuesday.